Hello everyone, let's take one more example to understand this concept of the uh, simplification of the grammar. Let's say this grammar is given. So we should first try to remove the useless symbols, means the symbols which cannot be reached or which are non-generating symbols. So for this, uh, let's find out what are the non-generating symbols. So here we can say that S produces A, B or B, X. S produces B, X. So now from B, we can reach to A, S, B. And from S, I can once again either go to, let's say I'm going to B, X. Not the same one. So let's say this is B, X. So now uh, the X produces S, B, D or it X produces A, D. Let's take A and D. Now, Let's say the B produces A S B A S B. Okay. Now, if I take another expansion of the B, which is B B X, the B will never lead us to the terminal symbol. Okay. So B is never going to lead us to the terminal symbol. So I'll say that the B is a useless symbol for me. So wherever B is involved, just remove that. So we remain with small b capital S as produces this one. Then A produces small b S and X and then small a and then we will remove anything that is starting with B or involving B. So I remain with X produces A after A and D. So these are the symbols I remain with. Now, after this, if you once again expand this, so S produces B and capital X and X produces AD. So this is reaching us to the terminal symbol, but you can see that we have never been able to reach this A. So it means that A is the unreachable symbol. So we have first removed the non-generating symbols and then we have, we are removing the symbol, which is not reachable from the the start symbol. So what we remain with the productions. So this is S produces BX and X produces AD. And this is the simplified grammar. This is the simplified grammar. Okay. So now we, here you can see that the, there is no epsilon production. There is no unit production. So this is the simplified version. So thanks for watching this video. We will take more example in the next lecture.